What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the security changes in iOS 14.4 as they pertain to the jailbreak community, especially for the A12, A13 and A14 devices. We're going to see if there is any good stuff in iOS 14.4 so that we can get a jailbreak in the near future. But before we do that, I would like to mention that you can support the channel on Patreon, starting from as little as $1 per month if you like the videos that I do. So as I said, iOS 14.4 was released released a couple of days ago back in January and they did release the security content at that point however many of the items were missing only two entries were available here when they released the security content and I promised that I will make a new video when the security content will be completed and boy did they complete it there's a lot of vulnerabilities in here and iOS 14.4 is packed with jailbreak vulnerabilities that can be used to update either the Uncover or Odyssey once any of them get released. So there are a couple of kernel vulnerabilities in here. The first one is a denial of service, which is not exactly very important. This would cause your device to panic and reboot, but it's not exactly useful for a jailbreak. However, the next one in line, which was also added on February 1, so yesterday, is actually a pretty important one for the jailbreak community because it says in here, quote, impact, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. So this sounds definitely good. And we also have this one, which was also present when they initially released the security content. An application may be able to elevate privileges and Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. This apparently comes from an anonymous researcher and it seems to be actively exploited in the wild. So this means that this vulnerability is actually pretty powerful, otherwise it wouldn't be used by hackers, it wouldn't be exploited in the wild. So if this gets released, we might be able to update the Uncover or the Odyssey, which is far more likely, with it. Now you may say that they may never release it, however there is no point into not releasing it since iOS 14.4 patches it. You should definitely keep in mind that everything in here, even though very good for jailbreak purposes, is already patched. So you should stay away from iOS 14.4 if you want to benefit from any of the vulnerabilities for jailbreak purposes. So if you're running 14.4, you should definitely go ahead and downgrade the 14.3 while it's still signed. iOS 14.4 was released on 26th of January and it's now February 1 and February 2 in some cases. So it may not stay signed for so long. So if you already updated the 14 14.4, definitely go back to 14.3 because although this report contains a lot of good vulnerabilities that can be used to update the Uncover or Odyssey, they are all patched on 14.4. So you should definitely keep that in mind. Go ahead and downgrade right now if you're interested in either the Uncover or Odyssey. If you are, however, using CheckRain, there is no problem in there. CheckRain already supports 14.4, 14.3, no problem, but CheckRain only supports iPhone 10 and lower. We're talking here about iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and even the iPhone 12. So this video is more for those people, but it also works for lower devices as well. Now another important one seems to be in core animation by Sorry My Bad. They did actually release kernel vulnerabilities in the past that we used in jailbreaks, and this time they filed a report about a bug in core animation, which says a malicious application could execute arbitrary code, leading to compromised user information. Not exactly sure how much of this can be used for a jailbreak but still a great bug and it still can pull some weight. But that's not the only thing interesting here. Aside from all the kernel vulnerabilities, we also have one from Google Project Zero which I'm pretty sure will get released because Google Project Zero usually releases their vulnerabilities once they are patched. This one is in core graphics and it says processing a maliciously crafted font file may lead to arbitrary code execution. Again, something we can use in a jailbreak. And then of course you have a lot of them that actually do the same thing. For example, in core media, processing a maliciously crafted image may lead to arbitrary code execution, core text the same thing. So there are multiple vulnerabilities here, some of them may even get released and this is actually good because it means that the iOS 14.3, 14.2, 14.1, 14.0, all of these are very vulnerable and we might be able to jailbreak in the near future. Now if any of these get released, which they might, I do not believe Uncover will be the first to be updated, I do believe Odyssey will. Because Odyssey is is currently the most updated jailbreak for the A12, A13 and A14, while Uncover remained behind. Uncover supports up to 13.5, while the Odyssey supports iOS 13.7 and lower. So if any of those vulnerabilities get released, I'm pretty sure that the Odyssey will be updated. Cannot say the same for the Uncover, but it might as well. So yeah, iOS 14.4 is packed with patches, which means that iOS 14.3 and lower should definitely be jailbreakable in the near future. So definitely keep an eye on those. 
goes. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. And till the next time, peace out.